Prologue The Shadows of Adrestia Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeshifts and flees, and not even the Knights of Ceres' most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Meanwhile, Edelgard seizes upon Monica's rescue as a chance to start down a radically different path than she had originally planned. Things went like clockwork with Monica. Thanks to Professor Yuritsa playing his part so ably. And equally to those arrogant fools for letting their guards down. I doubt we will see such fortune next time. Next time? Oh, don't tell me. The moment has come to take matters into our own hands at the Imperial Capital. This is our chance to finally be rid of them. But Lady Edelgard, we aren't ready. We'll need an entire host to keep them in check. And we have one, the Church. Forgive my impertinence, but that is not the plan. You are the man who once told me to leave no sword in its scabbard. Yes, but one must also take care not to wound themselves when unsheathing it. I am sorry, my lady, but this plan is ill-advised. I cannot support it. And even if I were to ignore common sense and go along, it still throws our future plans into disarray. I thought you devised countermeasures to deal with the Church. Use them. But those were meant for... Very well. Are you absolutely certain this is the path? <sighs> I am anything but certain. Yet the bandit attack in the mountains created an opportunity we cannot ignore. And I doubt the appearance of this new mercenary is simple coincidence. Plans can be rewritten, Hubert. Either we're doing this, or we're not. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? I am with you, Lady Edelgard. As ever. Then let us walk forward on this path, and see where it takes us. I apologize for bringing this to you on such short notice, Archbishop. Not at all, Edelgard. But might I ask, what prompted this sudden desire to return to Enbar? We believe one of Tomas's collaborators may have infiltrated the capital. My word! Tomas tended the library at Garrig Mach for decades, with nary a blemish on his record. And then, without warning, he drops his disguise and reveals himself to be a vile sorcerer of terrible ability. Someone at the Capitol also fits that pattern. A man we know all too well. And who might that be? My uncle, and regent of the Empire, Bokard von Arendelle. His lordship briefly defected from the Empire before reappearing several years later. But he returned a changed man, and began seizing power almost immediately. Witnesses claim he wields dark magic in secret, and is able to change his appearance at will. That does sound suspicious, if these witnesses can be believed. I would ask that you do believe them, as the information comes from my own House Vestra. I see. And when you return to the capital, how do you propose to deal with this uncle of yours? Lord Arendelle has the support of a number of influential nobles, including the Prime Minister, Duke Eyer. And while we have allies of our own, it's likely they'll require some convincing. To that end, we wish to bring our friends here at the Academy, their daughters and sons, with us under the supervision of Professor Yuritsa. 
We hoped you would consider deploying the Knights of Seros, so the Imperial Army doesn't get any strange ideas. You wish to march on the Empire? With the Church's Knights at your back? Your support would give credence to our claims. Additionally, the Knights would keep the populace in check upon our arrival, thereby preventing the city from descending into utter chaos. The more I hear of this, the more credible the threat sounds. It's clear you have thought carefully and planned well. We intend to seize the palace with our own forces, and we'll do our utmost to contain the conflict there. But we still need your help. Please. I have two conditions. The first, when you capture Lord Arundel, he is to be turned over to the knights at once. The second, our knights are not to engage in battle directly. I would have it no other way. Step lightly, Edelgard. Should these claims about Lord Arundel prove false, we will take action accordingly. Make no mistake as to who will be held accountable. Understood. But please know we have nothing to gain from deceiving the Church. Very well. I will summon the Knights and let you instruct them as to your plan. May the Goddess watch over you all. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shape-shifting. Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where did these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shape-shifting. And now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Ah, there you are. Something wrong? I must return to the Imperial Capital soon for an important matter. Will you join me? Most of the other Black Eagles are coming. What's this about? I fear I must keep that to myself until we're closer to the Capital. But I promise you this. There will be battle, and you will have a chance to shine. Are you sure? I mean, these powers I have are like the ones Tomas used? Yes, that is a bit disquieting. Still, you've given me no reason to mistrust you. You could have wrested yourself free of us from the start, but instead you chose to stay here at the monastery. You fought by our side and helped us save Monica. I think I can give you the benefit of the doubt. But here's my true proposal. If you accompany us, there's a good chance you'll learn where your powers come from. Ooh, now that is intriguing. In that case, I accept. Thanks. Good day. 
If you please. It's you. In essence, don't let me down, if I may. your thoughts. Need something? should hear this. What's going on?
So basically... My word is a bond. What do you think? What? Solon's been unmasked? Yes, my lord. Rooted right out of the monastery. First Kranya's debacle and now this. What in the world is going on? I know not, my lord. What are we to do? Keep our composure for a start. Send word to the kingdom and see that Cleobulus is informed. Tell him to remain prudent. If he must go into hiding, so be it. At once, my lord. Yes? Lord Regent, I have urgent tidings to report. You may enter. Forgive the intrusion, my lord, but we just learned the Knights of Seros march on Enbar. Their purpose is unclear, but they will arrive by morning. We've been turning ourselves upside down to make ready. The Knights of Seros? No. Oh. Do you think... There's only one person who could be behind it. How dare she bear her fangs at us? They may already be within the palace walls. Mobilize the guards and search. If anyone so much as looks at you askance, kill them on the spot. Yes, my lord. Her Highness has given the signal, Baltimore. Already? I had thought they were still negotiating. Things are moving rather quickly. The situation must have changed. Our children are still at Garrick Mark, after all. I admire how strong she's become. I just wish we'd had more time to appraise her competence. Well, if she's caught us with our breaches down, imagine how they feel. I can't wait to see the confused look on those dastards' faces. Oh, I'm going to enjoy every second of this. As if you'd be content to watch. Once the battle starts, you'll be knee-deep in gore with all the rest. Which means, I'll have to make it clear where I stand. We can't afford to tear the Ministry apart by having the pen and sword at odds. These are your instructions. I imagine they may not come as a surprise to many of you. For some time now, Enbar Palace has been infested with the same darkness you saw in Tomas. They have made a puppet of the Emperor, and plot with disloyal subjects to seize control of the Empire. Our objective is to stamp these traitors out, seize the palace, and reclaim the Empire for our own. Um, you realize it's just us, right, Adi? That sounds kind of... Impossible. Still, the Empire is having many soldiers. Perhaps you could be changing their minds? Those who can be won over will be. And the realization they are fighting the Imperial Princess ought to dull the other's blades. We have also secured the cooperation of several nobles inside the palace. Very impressive, Your Highness. And very you! I suppose all that remains is to head inside and take care of business. Just you watch. We'll take them all down and have the bards singing our names by nightfall. So 
So here we are, ready to deal a master stroke to the heart of the mighty empire. Life with you certainly isn't boring. We'll infiltrate the palace through the rear gate, then apprehend Lord Arendelle and Duke Iyer. From there, we'll secure the palace's strategic positions, eliminating all resistance we encounter along the way. If that is our plan, then time cannot be wasted. You can hear them scrambling in the palace from here. Let's not wait for them to find their bearings. Lead the way, your highness. Oh, and make sure to keep her safe, Hubert. You know every square inch of that place, after all. Just mind you don't fall prey to your own distractions. These villains have had free run of my house for too long. Today, I take it all back! Leave this one to me. This will be easy with the right then. Let us go. Shall we join hands in battle? Not I'm slipping in the in. back. The knight's unexpected visit must have thrown the court into disarray. In that case, we best find and apprehend Duke Iyer and Lord Arundel before they grow wise to our speed. Duke Iyer should be in the throne room. We'll enter to the back way. Yes, that way he will never see our coming. But we must hurry. The gods know the lair and do guards. So deal with them as you must. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Take a breather. Duke Iyer. What in the... No! Seal the gate now! Well, this comes... Orders received. The case I have... Things. We'll have to cut around through the garden. Send soldiers to the gardens! I want a sword on every path between myself and those rats! The man is so desperate he doesn't realize he's already lost. So let us break through and prove it to him. Order? No, not yet. Let us go. 
I'm aiding. No offense, but what's to stop him from running away? Oh, I already solved that particular problem. It's not over. It's not over. <laughs> <laughs> Orders received. The time has come, ministers. Show the Duke your true allegiance lies with the Empire. Apologies, Ludwig, but if you want to leave, it'll have to be through me. And if you want back in, you must go through me. Although I must seem like nothing in comparison to that bear at the front gates. You would turn on me now. Preposterous. Wait. So those are the nobles you won over? Where'd you find the time to orchestrate that? Now that we have Dugaya pinned down, let us clip his wings for good. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Begin. The Sky Spirit, here I go. They must learn who they're... Take a breather. Still outnumbered, and this isn't done until I say it is. It's finished, Prime Minister. Lay down your arms and surrender peacefully. Use the fire orbs! I don't care if you bring the palace down around us, just do it! Do something about that. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. The ambitions of Blue Big Bon Iyer won't be broken by the likes of you. Bring the stronghold down efficiently. I'm bringing it down. How can you speak? I have riches, power. I am as great as a man can be. Just leave Lord Arendelle. Yes. He is the one we need to worry about. Keep moving and remain alert. Duke Iyer has been captured already. <laughs> the wretch didn't even have the grace to buy me some time. Well, I have little interest in facing birds. So it's time for me to deploy my wild card. <laughs> Begin. 
The Sky Spirit watches over me. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Find the casters and strike them down so we might dispel this sorcery. <laughs> Stop those fire orbs from, well, firing. Come, Baldemar. You and I can split up and sweep the palace. A fine idea, Leopold. Let us make clear to these fell warlocks that they are most unwelcome in this place. I feel afraid to consider how we'd stand without those two on our side. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I've got this. My turn. Keep it up. We must eliminate the mages. These were definitely the same people who kidnapped me. We are fighting on the side of Count Burglis. You people are all magic and no muscle. I'll snap you like twigs. You know, it may benefit us to learn more about this dark magic. Should dissipate now. That still didn't stop them. It seems they came prepared for any eventuality. Quickly now! We need to reach Lord Arundel before he slips through our fingers. For any who side with Duke Hire or Lord Arundel and oppress her highness will receive no. Spirit. A quarter from us. Hubert, you finally said something I like. Now let's go stamp them out. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I've got this. Verbin. 
I'm bringing it down. This stronghold will fall. I think the Highness should be very pleased. Orders received with me indeed. Whether or not she is pleased with you should be a secondary concern. The most important matter is what benefits Lady Edelgard. You are... No. Sorry, what? I admire your tenacity. However, you clearly have no concept of how terrified I can be. Banish the darkness, and the terror will fade as well. Are you starting to understand the situation you're in? You got it. No! Not whacked! Take a breather. You got my back? Now! I know when I am bested. the darkness itself, and the darkness cannot be slain. <sighs> he escaped. <sighs> Cowardly of him, but we can take comfort in our victory either way. <laughs> I guess. <sighs> now what? Huh? Are you kidding me? When mercs want to celebrate a win, we slap our open palms together, like that. A commendable victory, Lady Edelgard. Thank you, Hubert. Still, I don't much like how those rats managed to keep skittering away. I imagine that guy's pretty close with Kronya and Tomas, since he shapeshifted and all. Yes. They are all part of a clandestine organization attempting to conquer Fodlan from the shadows. Those who slither in the dark. Huh. Never heard of them. Hmm. So, what is the plan now, Your Highness? We make ready for my coronation. Hubert, gather everyone in the throne room. At once, Your Highness. This is wonderful! Your Highness is going to become Your Majesty! Yes, but first I must speak with the Minister of Domestic Affairs, as well as the other Counts. Also, I need you to go to the Knights of Seros. I wasn't expecting all of you this soon. What are you doing here? We demand an explanation. You arrested my father, Edelgard. How could you do such a thing without discussing it with me first? I'm probably not getting the finer points here. But you basically defeated both my father and Ferdinand's, is that right? I wasn't fighting your father, Kaspar. He was aiding me, as was Count Hevering. So, um, what about my father? Did you arrest him? Unfortunately not. Hmm, okay. Look, I'm sure you have your reasons for all of this. But maybe you should sit down and talk us through it. And I intend to. We'll reconvene later and clear everything up then. Monica, join me. We'll talk as we go. I must.
must get stronger. I must regain what I've lost. I won't let myself stop here. Gotta keep aiming higher. Hey, a new power! All right! Who knew this power slept within? One step at a time. I work to grow. I must make the most of this ability. Say I have two years to complete these preparations. In cooperation with Count Heffering, of course. You and Hubert can finalize the details later. As I won't be choosing a Prime Minister for some time, I realize this may result in extra work for you. However, that also means more latitude to do things as you see fit, so long as you ensure we're prepared for a five-year war. I will not rest until I discover a solution, Your Highness. So long as our military leaders don't tread on my toes, I shouldn't have too much difficulty. Hmm. For something this big, you better believe we'll have plenty of need for resources. Leave it to a narrow-minded quill carrier like you to call that treading on your toes. In Her Majesty's name, I will decide what is and isn't appropriate regarding your needs. Also, anyone would seem narrow-minded when compared to a swollen-headed juggernaut such as yourself. A juggernaut, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. I see someone allowed his sarcasm lessons to lapse. Moving on. Lord Arendelle's followers will doubtless attempt to interfere, so we'll need to keep a close eye on them. Once Count Varley joins us, we can discuss the matter I mentioned further. It seems he's just arrived, Your Majesty. Apologies for my tardiness. Gregoire von Varley at the court service. My, but attendance seems light. Where is the Lord Regent and the rest of our noble six? Duke Iyer stands accused of treason and has been dismissed as Prime Minister. He currently awaits judgment in one of our finer dungeons. Lord Arendelle is a fugitive from the same crime and will be taken in soon. Dead or alive, it makes no difference. Well, this is a rather shocking turn of events. I had no idea Ludwig was capable of such things. Still, rest assured that I am nothing like him. Indeed. And as for the others, Duke Gert was dispatched to Western Fodland to conduct negotiations. And my father, the late Marquis Vestra, perished in the struggle to capture Duke Gaia. Which makes me the new Marquis Vestra and Minister of the Imperial Household. Ah! You've nothing to fear, Count Farley. Her Majesty intends to bestow a great honor upon you. Majesty? Wait, you mean... The title hasn't been formalized just yet, but as it stands, you should view it as a foregone conclusion. More importantly, Count Varley, there is a very important position I wish for you to fill. I intend to rebuild the Southern Church, 
And who better to be the bishop than you, our Minister of Religious Affairs? I will make my case to the Archbishop personally. Thankfully, Lord Arundel and his men are no longer around to obstruct such a move. You would bestow such a position on me? Uh, make no mistake, it is a great honor, but are you certain? Very. Now then, your first duty in the role will be to oversee my coronation. Do not fail me, Bishop. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you enjoying your stay at the palace? More than I expected, though I do feel a bit out of place here. Understandable. Everyone here either is a noble themselves or serves one. However, that will change. As Emperor, I plan to end discrimination based on social status. Everyone will have a chance to rise to the top, whether they are born into the aristocracy or not. No more nobles or commoners, huh? That does sound pretty great. I'll be impressed if you can actually pull it off. Oh, I will. But at the moment, I have a proposition for you. Go on. We've successfully expunged the Prime Minister and the rest of that puppet government. But a certain amount of unrest is unavoidable. Which means I must remain here in the capital. In other words, I can't go back to Garrick Mach and continue my studies. What about the others? Our noble families will be in disarray as we transition to my system and new heads of household take power. Of course, some, like Dorothea, are not as affected as the other students. But all of them have offered to stay and help rather than return to the monastery without us. If you'd be willing to do the same, I'd like to offer you a top post in my new military. Now there's a tantalizing offer. It's not like you have any real obligation to the church. Plus, it sounds like quite the thrill. I'm more of a hired sword than an officer. Which is why you're perfect. Hubert wants to recruit mercenaries such as yourself and form a new unit. I can't put some noble in command of them. That would be ill-advised. But they would listen to a capable fighter such as you. You're Hubert's first and only choice. I don't know if I really have the experience for it. But if you have that much faith in me, I won't let you down. Having deposed Lord Arundel and Duke Eyer, Edelgard quickly arranges for her coronation, her eyes now fixed firmly on the monumental task laid out before her. All the while, the kingdom of Fargus is thrown into unrest over the right of succession, while the Leicester Alliance finds themselves pitted against an invading Olmyran horde. Realizing the troubles of Fodlin will fall squarely on her young student's shoulders, Archbishop Rhea closes the Officers' Academy and permits her charges to return home.